Hey everybody, welcome back to Ken's Food Reviews. How you doing today? Glad you're here with us. We are finally at the Black Fly down in St. Augustine off of Anastasia Boulevard. Uh, I believe it's Boulevard anyway. Look it up. It's after the bridge. If you're in downtown, it's before the bridge if you're going to downtown. Uh, right off the beautiful A1A, very scenic route. Hits all the good beaches and all the good food. We got some authentic bohemian conch fritters. And a nice tomato base fried nicely with some good old conch in it. With a great daddle pepper, daddle pepper romalade, romalade, something like that. It's a daddle pepper sauce. Gonna like it, gonna love it, gonna eat it. It smells so good. I'm dying to try this out. And then the chef's special pizza. Um, let's drown this thing in some good old daddle. And see what it is. Comforters are delicious. They kind of remind me of clam cakes. So clam cakes are delicious and I miss them. I could I can go for a clam cake right about now. A good old comfort is as close as I'm gonna get. And uh, we're gonna sit here and enjoy it. There's nothing like biting into a fresh one of these with that crunch and then the doughiness inside. It really is as close to a uh, clam cake that you can possibly get. At least down here. They have amazing texture and really good flavor. Even without the dado pepper sauce. Just perfectly golden brown. Nice little bite sized pieces. A little lot of seasoning in there. It's so good. I don't know how I've never come here before in the two years I've been down here. I mean, this place is so my style. They have great beers on tap. They have great wine selection. The food menu is amazing. They got pizza and even uh, New England flounder. The artwork alone in this place is just off the wall. I mean, you can literally take it off the wall and bring it home if you want. Everything's negotiable and uh, the artwork is pretty awesome. I mean, it's, it's a big fishing kind of place. You would never guess by the black fly name black fly as in like fishing flies which I do love fly fishing and I do love fishing as you can tell I always have the rods with me to uh, hit the salt water and the surf definitely always prepared for that um, awesome restaurant inside definitely good beers good drink selection the menu is really good um, definitely my style and my vibe you can kick back after a long day on the beach or just kind of like a day like today where it's kind of cloudy and chilly outside. Beautiful 58 degrees out. They have pictures all over the bar of people's amazing catches that they've had. Um, apparently this guy's a big fly fisherman too. Um, they have a shop out in the Bahamas. And they've traveled the world in Costa Rica and a few other places. Mexico in the Bahamas, uh, Key West. They've been all over fly fishing and fishing. Definitely be awesome to meet this guy and um, see if I can go fishing with him one day. That'd be pretty sweet. I started getting into fly fishing before I moved down to Florida. Um, kinda fell a little back burner a little bit. Maybe I'll start getting a little more into it this year. I do have flies and everything ready to go. Just, I should start doing some uh, saltwater fly fishing because that would be pretty awesome right there. One of the guys I learned from is one of the top uh, fly fishermen in America. And he's been all over the country and the world fly fishing, catching giant monsters out in the ocean and everything else. Just one of a kind kind of guy. Uh, definitely glad that big bear hooked me up with him and uh, gave us some good lessons.
These comp fairs are awesome. Really is nothing better than a good conch fritter. It's such a good food. Especially like a good comfort food. I'm gonna have to control myself though and stop. I do have a pizza and uh, let's try this bad boy out before it cools off too much. So I got the chef special pizza. It's got Italian sausage, balsamic, onions, some shredded mozzarella, and a garlic oil base. This pizza looks fire. It is cooked in a gas brick oven. Um, definitely adds more character and more depth to the pizza. Definitely a better style of cooking it. I love oven roasted pizza like that. Uh, wood fire pizza is always the way to go or coal fired but a brick oven pizza you really can't beat it it just it cooks that pizza with a lot of love and a lot of intensity hopefully this pizza is on point and on fire just like those conch fritters and that daddle pepper romalade that they had on it uh, definitely a really nice amount of heat on that daddle pepper with a good sweet base and a uh, back to it Definitely not overpowering and overdoing it for those people that don't like hot and spicy foods. You would definitely like a daddle pepper sauce like that one. It's very uh, on point with good flavor and it's very well blended with that conch and the rest of the seasonings in that conch fritter. So here we go. The mozzarella is kind of cooling off on top a little bit. It's a little chilly and I've been talking a lot. So it's kind of getting a chance to solidify um, it kind of fell off, but let's, let's try it one more time. Take two. It doesn't really have base to it. It is very, very thin crust pizza. You can literally see the sunlight or daylight from it. There's really no sun out there. Look, see, not going to lie to you. There ain't no sun today. The menu doesn't say anything about spinach, but apparently there is spinach on the chef's special pizza today. Maybe the chef thought I just needed a little more iron and uh, vitamins in my food today. Can't blame him. I do love a good spinach. Made some bomb stuffed peppers last night. Threw a little spinach in that as well. Mm, it came out so good, it makes you want to smack your mama. It's kind of doughier than I was expecting. If you don't fold it, it has plenty of flop. But if you fold it, it's pretty reasonable. I mean, it's definitely not greasy. Especially not like the ingredients on this one are really a greasy pizza to begin with. But the, the Italian sausage and uh, balsamic onions and then spinach isn't greasy at all. It's just more watery. Um, they did a good job at sauteing those spinach leaves and cutting them down a little bit without getting a lot of wateriness. That crust is definitely not watery. It's not the crispiest, but it's not the not even close to being watery or soggy from any of the ingredients. That olive oil, the olive oil and garlic base to it is uh, pretty good. I definitely like the flavor of that garlic and that olive oil on it. I shredded mozzarella. It just comes right off the piece and pizza in one bite. It is what it is. It's not as uh, hot and flagrant right now because I did the conch fritters first. <clears throat> I didn't do the pizza first. It is what it is. If it came out to the table nice and hot, I'm sure it would have been uh, perfectly gooey and solidified, not solidified. So that way you can definitely, would definitely be able to. Uh, Get the gooiness of that cheese and everything else. The sausage definitely has a lot of flavor. It's definitely a fresh, good Italian sausage, good ingredients. You know, that spinach looking like that is definitely fresh as well. 
the balsamic onions definitely has a good nice tang to it adds a little pizzazz and flavor and style to the pizza it's very artistic it flows along along with the uh, artisticness of the restaurant and establishment itself and the whole entire brand and name of the company uh, very good the whole biograph on it the owner i can't remember what his name is i read it in the bio though on the front page of the menu he sat at least four or five hours painting flies black flies well not maybe not black flies i'm sure he did uh multiple multiple variations of the fly fishing lure uh, on a canvas and went all the way ran out of canvas and ended up painting on uh brown paper bags you know the stop and shop kind probably you know like we used to do for our book covers back in the day. Definitely seems like an interesting kind of guy. Definitely puts love and uh, artisticness into this pizza. It's a really good pizza, it's just a little doughy. I would just ask for it. Well done next time. Like I normally should anyway, but I always seem to forget to order my pizzas well done. I'm definitely looking forward to coming back to Black Flag and hitting up the rest of that menu. I definitely want to go for that ahi tuna next that they have, as well as the New England flounder that they have with the panko crumbs and... Mm roasted potatoes and vegetables and just sounds so good i definitely didn't want to do it for the review tonight because it just would have been sloppy in the vehicle I got it home it would have been cold and then i would have had to reheat it and overcook it so maybe next time i'll just get a booth and chill out and do a full out um, menu food review because this place is just too good i mean if you're down in st augustine and you want to go for good food i mean i know there's plenty of other good restaurants out here this one's right on the main road i always seem to overlook it i don't know why i've probably driven by it ten thousand times and never even noticed this place um, come check out black flag you won't be disappointed definitely good pizza and good conch fritters and i'm definitely looking forward to coming out and checking out the rest of this menu black fly pizza slash black fly restaurant i'm gonna give you a 9.2 and that's a review peace